one, two, three, four, forever with a cooking video. I can't believe I'm actually doing a cooking video. I can't get over it. But let's get over it. And um, I am going to show you how to make Valentine's Day cupcakes without using eggs and without using an oven. Okay, it sounds really weird, but it actually works. Um, I made them for my mom's birthday back in November, and I made a post about it on Google Plus. So I thought I would show you how to make them. So I have Melanie, and the reason why Melanie's been in yesterday's video, today's video, is because I don't use her that much. And she's a truly magnificent doll, so I just wanted to uh, use her in two days of video. So I'm sitting down on a chair. So what you're going to want to use is you're going to want a bowl. I'm just using this bowl. Just move the camera thingy down a bit. Uh, well, these are just like cupcake boxes. Uh, some some kind of butter. Whisk. Sponge mix. And a cup of 75 millilitres of water. And you might want decorations, but I'm going to get to decorations afterwards. So I'm just... <laughs> Sorry, camera has a habit of doing that. Let's just tighten it up so it doesn't fall ever again. Okay, there we go. Right, so I'm just going to get a few scissors. And a knife. I would recommend using this pair of scissors under the age of possibly 11 or something like that. If you're under age, I would recommend this was pants supervision. So, first of all, you're going to want to get your sponge cake mix. And you're just going to want to, you're going to put the whole load in there, right? It depends how much you get. I get quite a lot in this packet. It's all in. Yeah, it's all in. Okay. That doesn't even matter so you can get the full effect. Can you see how much you put in there? There we go, that's much better. Now you're going to want to get 70, just put them in there, 75 millilitres of water. It can be a bit less or a bit more. I would rest it. It could be hot or cold. I think hot just adds to the texture of it. So it depends really. So I'm just putting all my water in there. Blech. It looks disgusting, but it tastes really nice when it's done. Next, you're going to want to grab some butter. Butter, butter, butter. And I am just going to get some butter. You can use unsalted or salted. For my mum's birthday, I use salted and unsalted. And to be honest, the unsalted one, it didn't taste the same. It tasted, it actually didn't taste that nice. I would recommend putting about three scoops in there because the, these have to be really textured because you're not even putting in your, um, your, uh, whatchamacallit, your bus uh, eggs, but it has to be really textured. Okay. And now you're just going to want to mix that. Make sure you don't put too much water in because too much water is always bad. Now, it's not going to look very nice, but it's going to look normal. Okay. It's because of how much butter you use, and you're going to want to mix that nicely. Mel needs to stand there. I'm really scared she's going to fall over in a minute. Now you're going to see lumps of butter, which don't worry, you will see. Um, it's because you need to completely mix it. And doesn't that look normal? Doesn't that look like the normal cake mix you would have? It looks completely fine. This is really fun. I'm actually enjoying myself. Now make sure that you get every little bit out. Now the hint to this is don't mix all the butter. Because the butter, it goes all crispy and that's like chunks and it tastes so nice. Okay. And I'm just going to keep on mixing. Woo, ooh, ooh. Just trying to get this little bit out. Oh, and okay. So next, I'm going to... You need to get one of these boards. This is just a cheese board. Well, it doesn't have cheese in it anymore. I'm just going to move them on you for a minute. This is a cheese board, but it hasn't got cheese on it now. This is just so you can put cupcakes on. Okay. 
Now you're going to want to grab your cupcake boxes. And I have loads of different colours. I mean, here I have a pink one with spots. I have yellow and I have green and blue. It's lovely. So I'm going to put on you. You can make them doll size if you want. You can make them even smaller. I was going to make Valentine's Day biscuits. But then, there we go. I we'll just hide and do it. So I think for Easter. I'll make some Easter biscuits. So as you can see, I've got all my cupcakes on the tray. Just move the camera. Um, here. And now I'm gonna get a spoon. Uh, you don't have to get a really big spoon. I'm just using a normal spoon that you would use in your kitchen. And I'm just going to grab some of the gooey mixture and place them. I love cooking guys, okay? This is how I came up with this recipe. I mean, some people know how to do it or they know what it is, but they don't know exactly how to do it. Okay. Yeah, gunky. You can make it even look like a cupcake if you wanted and swizzle it. Because this does rise, can I just warn you, it rises because of the mixture. You don't even have to have self-raising flour to it, it does rise. Um, one time I put a little bit in and it rises all over the top because I did a bit too much butter in. I did about five spoons full. So I'm just putting in some more on this one. I'm going to fill these cupcakes, the cupcake cases, not the cupcakes, and I will be with you in a minute. Right, can you guys see that? Yes, you can. Right, so I'm going to put it in there for 1 minute 50 if it needs the extra 10 seconds or whatever. No, what should we put it in for? I'll put it in for 1 minute 30 because last time I remember putting it in for too long, it gets really hard. So I'll put it in for 1 30. This is my microwave, me microwave. One minute. Put it in for one minute thirty. So what are those? See what I mean about so flat? Mmm, it's spongy. It's spongy. Okay, this so is probably twenty. Okay, I am going to try one these. I mean, they're very flat, that's only because I put like loads of mixture in, but they're going to taste absolutely delicious. I'm going to try one. Okay, tell you how it tastes. They are so creamy. Get delicious. <laughs> okay, guys, these are marvellous. But once it's cooled down, I think that'd be a bit harder. So, yeah, that's so good. I like that. But right, so now is a knife. I'm just going to separate them. Lump have like done that. See, so they can be like different shapes if you wanted them. I can make more because I got so much more butter, and I like the different shapes. I think I'll eat this one, but <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm not eating breakfast this morning, so I'm just gonna eat this one. I 
decoration. Sorry about that people, past time. That was past time, sorry about that. Now so I'm just gonna put in you can be how does that turn on? Let's get on to the decoration. Right, so for the decoration, I'm putting marshmallows on mine. Just so they're so sweet. Just putting them in there. Using mini marshmallows, not really big ones, or ones that are cut. Okay, these cakes are really great, guys, honestly. You can put them in the fridge if you want, or you can put them in somewhere where they can air dry. Uh, if you want them a bit crispy, or you can put them in the microwave for a bit longer. But I mean, that is so beautiful, honestly. Yay, I'm so excited to tweet these. This is my family, of course, I'm not like really tweet more on my own. I had two of them. You, I can make more. But I can make them in half the time that I made it on camera. So because I wanted you guys to get the full effect on how to make them. So I have decorated my cupcakes. So let's zoom in. There we go. Oh, perfect. They're absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. <laughs> Pretty much guys, that's it for today's video. Well, I'm making another video today. I was going to do another video, but I can't because my dad isn't here to do it with me. So I'll probably really have to be tomorrow next weekend. Um, I've got a week off school now, and not this Monday coming up, next Monday, I got that Monday off. So I'll be able to do some videos during the week. And yes. So I just want to say thanks so much for watching. If you want to see any more co cooking videos from me, like for any of the celebration like St. Patrick's Day or for Easter or for any kind of event, it doesn't matter if it's for Christmas or Halloween, um, but if you want to see any other baking videos, just comment down below. Um, yeah, there you will know about the allergy reactions, so I'm just saying, unless you're allergic to butter or sponge cake mix or marshmallows. Um, so yeah, those are really good. Really, oh my god, they're so good. I'm gonna put them in a nice place to dry now and I'm going to tidy up. And yeah, pretty much. So thank you all so much for watching from Melanie, who was only seen like a few times in this video, but and me, Angela One Two Three Four Forever. So thank you all guys and I will see you later for Pure Box. So can't wait to do that. I've got some new things that I'm going to put on doll. So see you then people. Bye.